Hey friends, so we've got a new app from Secret Base Design. It's an update to Visual Synth. We're calling it Smash Cut now. It's a little bit of a weird app, so I'm going to walk you through and try to explain what it does. And might be right for you. If you've done anything with music over the years, you've probably seen a lot of audio samplers and sampler apps, and they're pretty darn handy. Uh, got a regular MIDI keyboard here. I'm running BS16i on my iPad. And what you're hearing is a sampled piano. It all uses MIDI, so you can run it through a sequencer, logic, garage band, things like that. And the great thing with a sampler is it's pretty easy to switch to a different sample. And so what we wanted to do with Smash Cut is create an app that does the same sort of thing, but with video. So let me switch over to Smash Cut and I'll show you what it does. All right, here's Smash Cut. And what it is, is a video sampler app. I'll show a little bit more on the screen in a moment. But the idea here is I've got a video here. I'm using an old cut of Nosferatu because it's out of copyright. And so I'm not going to get a takedown notice. And it's this movie. So you start off with the scene, and I'm using this control knob to pan through the movie. And so the idea is you load in the video of your choice, whatever it is that you want to put on the screen, and then you can set cue points. And let me do that for you here. So let's uh, scan to some place. And uh, I know there's a rooster in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to hit key on the keyboard to hit play. Video is going to start playing. There's my rooster. If I want to get to a very specific frame, I can touch on the screen, slide back and forth to scrub through the thing. Now suppose I want to set this as a cue point. You can do this off the MIDI keyboard. Let me do it on screen now. Tap up, bring up the dialog, and all these different notes are associated with the position. So I'll clear this note. I'll set a cue point here. I've got cue points set for some other MIDI notes. So let me get rid of this. So I'll cue to here, cue to here. You can still hear BS16i running in the background. That's the drum noises. So what you can do is load in any video that you want and then set your cue points and then drive the playback of the video cue to wherever you want using just a MIDI keyboard. And because it's all digital and running on iPad, all sorts of things. You can rotate. I'm running one of the CC knobs off the MIDI keyboard. Rotate the video. Change the brightness, bring it in and out. Scale it. Already use this one to pan through the movie. I can stretch horizontally, stretch vertically, shift the image left, right, to see fit. And so the idea here is you're, uh, maybe you've got a band putting on a show and you want to have some visuals that are going to track along with whatever your music you're playing. You might be sequencing something to put together a music video. Or if you're a podcaster or a streamer and you want to queue up some video to play back, queue it up here, set the queue points, and then you can hit play, stop, and queue around as needed. Play the video, another key to stop, key to reset the screen as you see fit. Now I'm going to jump over to the screen of my Mac and show a little bit more detail so it'll be a little more clear. Let's go over there. All right, now let me take a look at what we can do on the Mac. And if you're curious and you're thinking about this, I'm using OBS and I'm actually running the iPad app on a Silicon Mac and capturing it with the OBS in the screen. So all compatible with all sorts of streaming things that you want to do. So again, here I've got Nosferatu sort of loaded up and I can scroll back and forth just by fiddling with the screen, touching on the screen, tap in the center to bring up the dialog box. Let me show you how you get videos in here. So the app is going to look into your, your uh, on-app 
um, Photos Library, so I'll import a video. And here I've got another thing that's going to be copyright free at this point in time. Here's a little chunk of the Jetsons. So I've selected that. I'm going to use this. There's going to be a little bit of compression. It's going to be bringing the video into the app. And there, there we've got it. It's got the date you imported it. Let me change that. So I select it. Go over to the Q tab. And I'm going to write ah, Jetsons. So I'm going to change the name. I'm also going to do this. With most audio samplers, you can change the program. So you can switch from the drum, drum samples to, uh, to piano or to saxophone or whatever you want using a program change message over MIDI. Here you've got a program change message that you're going to use here. Back to the video. So I've got this loaded in. Here's a little bit of Jetsons. Scroll bar here. You can scan through the video. Now let's set some cue points. Hopefully it's a little bit easier to see with the screen capture. So let's go find a spot that we want to cue to. Uh, okay, this looks like a good one. Here is MIDI Note 60, which is C on a keyboard. Tap here. And I've got a cue point set. And hey, over here, tap here. Another cue point set. And if I want, I can adjust slightly by uh, touching and, and skimming back and forth. And uh, let's say this spot. All right, three cue points. In the app, there's a total of 36 cue points per video. So do what you need to do. And let me fix that again. That's it. All right. So we've got Nosferatu, also Jetsons. And you say to yourself, well, I don't have a MIDI keyboard. We got you taken care of. And so what I'm going to do here, switch over. The second screen that you see here is actually an iPhone. The app runs on both I iPads and iPhones and on Silicon Macs. And you'll note over on the right hand side, little remote control. So we'll tap there. And I've turned this into a MIDI controller. So if you don't have a hardware MIDI keyboard then with all sorts of knobs, the app does this built in. I can connect from the iPhone to the iPad, tap the connect button, and I'm going to connect over Wi-Fi. Tap here, connecting, done. All right, and so now what I've got is my iPhone, which is on the lower right hand corner, is going to control the video of the iPad on the left. So I can get rid of this dialog screen. And if I was just going to be broadcasting and using the iPad for screencasting, I can do all sorts of things. So I can scan back and forth, slider, play and pause. And I can go to the various cue points. So cue point one, cue point two, cue point three, and so rather than tapping on a regular MIDI keyboard, I can just tap on the other iPhone. Pretty easy. The iPhone doesn't have a lot of space, so to pack everything in, controls for rotation, things like that. On the second tab, if I want to, I can adjust the volume of the video, adjust the brightness. I can shift it around, scale it as I need fit. and set it back to the original orientation if I want to. Pretty easy. Now, one of the things you might have multiple videos that you want to go through, and I want to note something here. Here I've got Nosferatu. If I go to the queue, this is set to program one. I can change it pretty easily with these up and down arrows. Set to program one, Jetsons. I've set to program two, and you can sort of see it here on the list. So what I can do is video select on the iPhone, 
Two goes to Jetsons. One goes back to Nosferatu. Toggle back and forth. Cue points as if they fit. The cue points are associated with each video. So if you've got a band that's playing a bunch of different songs and you have different video for each song, just switch between the songs with the video select and then you've got the cue points as you need. And again, you can trigger this all with MIDI and so you might have it sequenced with uh, Logic or GarageBand or whatever sequencer you use. So what exactly you're going to do with this? Um, I'll be honest, I have no freaking idea. Seems like an obvious idea of there are lots and lots and lots of audio samplers. Super useful. And so the idea struck, oh, well, let's do a video sampler. And this is what we came up here with uh, here at the Secret Base. And we think you're going to dig it. It's available in the iTunes App Store.